nema. On je među nama, amen, slava Bogu, aleluja. Ništa ne možemo da činimo bez tebe, gospode, amen. Ne možemo čak ni svoje ruke da podignemo bez tebe, gospode, amen. Tako zahvalit ćemo se u ovoj molitvi za njegovu prisutnost među nama i verujem da čekamo na njegovu reč i verujem da on ima za nas poruku, amen, i ovu službu, amen. Ja ću zamoliti brata Duleta da dođe da nas povede u molitvu. Izvoli, brate. Amen. Hvala ti, gospode, na blagoslovu koje imamo da dolazimo pred tebe, da dolazimo u sveti dom tvoj, gde se odredio da se molimo, gde se odredio da te slavimo, gde dolazi tvoj sveti duh, da deli zajedništvo sa nama. Budi i danas sa nama blagoslovi brata koji će propovedati danas i otvori naša srca da primimo tvoju reč. Molimo te to u drago Isusovo ime. Amen. Amen. Tako je, gospode. U tvoje drago cilo ime molimo te. Amen. też pozdrowienia z Polski. Prano se pozdrawi z Polski. To ste razumeli svi.
Слава Богу. Амен. Кој чека Господа нову снагу добија? Пење се кој на квилима орла. Амен. Хода и не умори се. Амен. Трчи и не сустаје. Кој чека Господа нову снагу добија? Брат во тува место. Амен. Веду. Ајде, устанеме. Кој чека... So what do you want? Oh, you are the guest. <laughs> okay, amen. Praise the Lord. Slava Gospodu. Just take your seats for a moment, saints, if you would. Možete sesti na trenutak ako želite. It's good to be in the house of the Lord this morning. Dobro je biti jutro u domu gospodnjem. It's good to be in Serbia with you. I dobro je biti sa vama u Srbiji. Uh, Really want to start just by bringing greetings from home. Želeo bi početi tako što prenosim pozdrave od kuće. I come from a long way away. Ja sam prešao dugačak put. From the nation of New Zealand. Iz nacije Novog Zelanda. It's a country of about four million people. To je država od nekih četiri miliona stanovnika. And forty million sheep. I četrdeset miliona ovaca. Amen. So we come from sheep country. Amen. And uh, it's certainly a privilege to be with you. Tako da stvarno smatram privilegijom što sam sa vama. Appreciate brother Janko giving us the invitation. Cenim to što me brat Janko pozvao. Bring greetings from the home church. Donosim pozdrave od lokalne crkve. And a church at home is called Rapturing Grace Tabernacle. A ta crkva se zove Milostu, crkva milosti uznesenja. We believe in a rapture. Amen. Jel mi verujemo u uznesenje. And we believe we are going to be part of it by the grace of the Lord. I verujemo da imamo udela u tome po Božoj milosti. And we bring greetings from brother Ray Thompson. Također donosimo pozdrave od brata Reja Thompsona. He asked to be remembered to you. A on želi da vas se podseti. Bring greetings from brother Gary Walker. Također Pozdrave od brata Gary Walkera. He also brought back a very good report. On je doneo stvarno dobar izveštaj odavde. He said if you have the opportunity to come, you really must come. Je rekao ako imate prilike da dođete, stvarno da dođeš, stvarno treba da dođeš. Just a week ago I was in Romania with brother Gabriel. Samo nedelju dana ranije bio sam u Rumuniji kod brata Gabriela. We had a youth camp there and a nice time. I tamo smo imali omladinski kamp i lepo vreme. So we we love Europe. Tako da mi u stvari volimo Evropu. We love the European people. Volimo evropljene. We love the European food. Volimo evropsku hranu. 
we love the European worship. Volimo evropsko proslavljanje. The way that you sing and worship the Lord. I način kako pevate i proslavljate Gospoda. And it's certainly a privilege to be with you. I svakako je to privilegija što smo sa vama. Uh, it's winter time. I come from our winter. A kod nas je uh, zima. Ja dolazim iz uh, područja gdje je zima. So we come from the very cold. Tako da mi dolazimo u stvari iz hladnoće into the very hot. U vrućinu. I would rather be somewhere in the middle. Ja bi najviše voleo da sam negdje između. Uh, hallelujah. But uh, who speaks English here? Can o, I have a show of hands? Engleski. Mogu li vidjeti vaše okay, ruke? Okay. That puts some pressure on you, brother. <laughs> Kaže, malo ćete stisnuti. Amen. Već su me stisnuli. Hallelujah. Uh, it's, uh, it's, where are we? 10.30? It's, it's 8.30 in the evening at home. Sad je 8:30 kod kuće, kod nas. It's your morning, but it's the evening at our place. Kod nas je uh, naravno ovdje ujutro, a kod nas je uveče. So I can say that I come from the future. Tako da mogu da kažem da dolazim iz budućnosti. I have seen the future. Video sam već budućnost. And all is well. I sve je dobro tamo. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. I think you've had some of the the greatest ministers in the world here. What, please? You've had some of the greatest preachers A, in the world. Imali ovde, uh, među sobom neke od najboljih uh, propovednika koje ste imali prilike čuti. But I'm not brother Ed Biskal. A ja nisam brat Ed Biskal. I'm not brother Vindael. I nisam brat Vindael. I'm not even brother Gary. Nisam čak ni brat Gary. So I'm just me. Ja sam samo ja. And uh, you're going to have to have some grace to allow me to be me. I morat ćete imati milost u srcu da mi dopustite da budem ono što jesam. And I'm going to give you the grace to be you this morning. A ja ću imati milost prema vama da vas gledam kakvi ste vi jutro, sa onakvi kakvi jeste. If you feel like saying amen, then you say amen. Ako osjećate da trebate reći amen, recite amen. If you feel like screaming and shouting, then scream and shout. Ako mislite da bi klicali i uzvikivali, onda to radite. If you want to dance up and down the aisle, ako želite tu da plešete gore dole, možete i to. Then, then you dance up and down the aisle. Onda samo plešite usput. If you want to just sit quietly and listen, ako želite samo sedeti tiho i slušati, then sit quietly and listen. Onda pažljivo slušajte. I think I have one of the quietest churches at home. Ja mislim da ja imam kod kuće možda jednu od najtiših crkava. But they listen very carefully. Ali zato jako pažljivo slušaju. They love God. Vole Boga. They love the word. Vole reč. But they don't make a lot of noise. Ali ne prave od toga veliku buku. But they are very good listeners. Ali su dobri slušači. So if you want to shout that's fine. Da, ako želite da kličete, to je okay. If you want to dance that's fine. Ha, ako želite plesati, to je dobro. But, but as long as you also listen. Ali naravno dokle god slušate. Amen. Amen. Uh, and there will be some things that we say that will be maybe very simple. Možda će te čuti neke vrlo uh, jednostavne uh, stvari. Some things that we say that maybe will be very deep. A možda i neke stvari koje će biti prilično duboke. If you've got a pen and paper, ako imate olovku i papir, if you want to take notes, ako želite praviti beleške, if you want to go back and look up the scriptures that we use, ako želite kasnije razmotriti delove pisma koje smo koristili. I think that would be very good. Mislim da će to biti prilično dobro. There may be some things that you hear that may be a little bit different. A ja možda ćete čuti neke stvari možda drugačije nego što ste mislili. But if you look at the scriptures, ali ako budete razmatrali pisma, if you look at the quotes that we use, ako budete pažljivo pratili citate koje ćemo koristiti, you'll see that we are in the word. Vidjet ćete da se nalazimo u reči. We've got some slides that we're going to use. Imaćemo tu i neke slajdove. Some scriptures and some quotes. Također citati iz pisma i izvode iz propovedi. That's going to allow us to keep moving in the sermon. I to će nam pomoći da se krećemo kroz službu. We won't have to stop and turn every time we want to read a scripture. I nećemo morati svaki put da stanemo i da listamo dok budemo čitali iz pisma. Hallelujah. I understand that we're going to have a questions and answers service. Ar, uh, koliko sam čuo, izgleda ćemo imati službu pitanja i odgovora. If we don't have any questions, then we won't have any questions and answers. A, ako nemamo neka pitanja, onda nećemo imati uh, takve odgovore. Ja? If you don't have any questions, ako nemamo pitanja, then I will assume that you know everything. Onda ću razumeti da vi svak, sve znate. Then maybe I will ask you some questions. A možda ću onda vas ja pitati neka pitanja. Because I have some questions also. Pošto ja imam također još neka pitanja. Hallelujah. Praise God. Let's stand together, shall we? Amen. Hajde da ustanemo zajedno. We're going to turn to Genesis chapter 1. Otvorit ćemo knjigu postanka. Chapter 1. Chapter 1. Prva glava od početka. 
and we're going to read verses 26 and 27. Čitat ćemo stihove 26. i 27. And God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. Potom reče Bog da načinimo čoveka po svom obličju kao što smo mi koji će biti gospodar, gospodar od riba morskih i od ptica nebeskih i od stoke i od cele zemlje i od svih životinja što se miču po zemlji. So God created man in his own image and the image of God created he him male and female created he them. I stvori Bog čoveka po obličju svojemu po obličju Božijom stvori ga muško i žensko stvori ih. We understand that God is a spirit. Mi razumemo da je Bog duh. So the man that he created here in Genesis 1 tako da čovjek koga je on ovdje u postanku jedan stvorio, he's a spirit man. On je čovjek duh. Chapter 2 verse 4. Idemo u drugu glavu od četvrtog stiha. These are the generations of the heavens and of the earth when they were created in the day that the Lord God made the earth and the heavens. To je postojanje neba i zemlje kada postaše kada Gospod Bog stvori zemlju i nebo. Every plant of the field before it was in the earth and every herb of the field before it grew for the Lord God had not caused it to rain upon the earth and there was not a man to till the ground. I svaku biljku poljsku dokle još ne bješe na zemlji i svaku travku poljsku dokle još ne nicaše jer Gospod Bog još ne pusti dažda na zemlju niti bejaše čovjeka da radi zemlju. There was not a man to till the ground. Nije bilo čovjeka koji će raditi zemlju. But God created man in the earlier chapter. Ali u prethodnoj glavi Bog je već stvorio čovjeka. I mean, but that man was a spirit man. I upamtite da je taj čovjek bio čovjek duh. He needed to come into a flesh body. A on je morao da dođe u zemaljsko telo. In order to till the ground. Da bi mogao da radi zemlju. They went up of mist from the earth and watered the whole face of the ground. Verse 6. Okay. Uh, niti se podizaše para sa zemlje da natapa svu zemlju. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life and man became a living soul. I stvori Gospod Bog čovjeka od praha zemaljskoga i dunu mu u nos duh životni i posta čovjek duša živa. I mean, now the flesh man's made in chapter 2. Dakle u drugoj glavi vidimo stvaranje telesnog čovjeka. Verse 18. Uh, stih 18. And the Lord God said it is not good that the man should be alone. I will make and help meet for him. I reče Gospod Bog, nije dobro da čovjek bude sam, da mu načinim druga prema njemu. Verse 21. 21. And the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam, and he slept and he took one of the ribs and closed up the flesh instead thereof. I Gospod Bog pusti tvrd san na Adama te zaspa. A muze jedno, reb, jedno rebro i mjesto popuni mesom. And the rib which the Lord God had taken from man made he a woman and brought her unto the man. Which verse 22? 22. Gospod Bog stvori ženu od rebra koju uze Adamu i dovede ka, je k Adamu. Amen. Now I want to go to Second Timothy chapter 2. Idemo u drugu Timotejevu, druga glava. Second We're going to go from 11, 12 and 13. 11, 12 13. From the 11th, from the 11th verse. Od 11. stiha ćemo čitati. Second Timothy chapter 2 verse 11. Druga Timotejeva, druga glava od stihovi 11, 12, 13. It is a faithful saying for if we be dead with him, we shall also live with him. Istinita je reč, ako s njim umresmo, to ćemo i s njim i živjeti. If we suffer, we shall also reign with him. If we deny him, he also will deny us. Ako, ako trpimo s njime, ćemo i carovati, ako se odrečemo, i on će se nas odreći. If we believe not, yet he abideth faithful, he cannot deny himself. Ako ne vjerujemo, on ostaje veran, jer se sam sebe ne može odreći. I want to call this this morning, he cannot deny himself. Uh, želim nazvati ovu službu uh, jutros on se ne može odreći sebe, poreći sebe. Let's, let's pray. Ajde da se pomolimo. Father, we come into your presence this morning. Oče, dolazimo u tvoju prisutnost jutros. With worship and thanksgiving. Sa zahvalnošću i sa proslavljanjem. We thank you that you've made a way. Hvala ti što si ti otvorio put. By the shed blood of Jesus Christ. Kroz prolivenu krv Isusa Hrista. 
Father, we come for a blessing. Oče, mi dolazimo radi blagoslova. We come to hear from you. I dolazimo da bi čuli o tebe. We ask that you would speak to our heart. Molimo se da nam govoriš u srce. Grant us understanding. I daj nam i razumevanje. Lord, a clarity of thought. I jasno čiste misli. I pray that your anointing would be upon both the speaker and the hearer. Molim se da pomazanje bude i na govorniku i na slušalcima. Father, that you would come in your own special way. Oče, da ti dođeš na svoj vlastiti način. That you would give us that which we have need of. Da nam ti daš ono za čim mi imamo potrebu. That you would be praised and glorified. Da bi ti bio proslavljen i uzdignut. And we ask these things in the unfailing name of Jesus Christ. Mi tražimo te stvari u... Ne, izneverjavajući ime Isusa Hrista. Amen. Amen. May the Lord add his blessing to his word. You may take your seats. Neka bi Gospod dodao svoje blagoslove dok vi zauzimate svoja mesta. <clears throat> I said I've called this he cannot deny himself. Rekao sam da ću nazvati ovu službu on ne može sebe poreći. And I really want to speak on the Holy Spirit this morning. I ono o čemu bi najviše govorio je Sveti Duh jutros, o what, Svetom Duhu. What it is? Šta je on? Maybe how we receive it. Možda kako ga primamo. But especially the evidence of the Holy Ghost. Ali posebno o dokazu Svetog Duha. If I leave this, pulp, if I leave this, am I still okay? Ako napusti mikrofon, će biti u redu. Okay, 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 okay. As I said, I especially want to focus on the evidence. Kao što rekao, posebno želim da se usredsredim na dokaz. Because it's the evidence that is the most controversial. Zato što je najviše kontraverzi upravo o dokazu. And I just want to go point by point by point this morning. I želim jutros ići tačku po tačku. I trust that you can follow my progression. I nadam se da ćete moći pratiti moj napredak. If I say anything that's too controversial. Ako bi rekao nešto što bude previše kontradiktorno. Or, or anything that you don't understand. Ili možda nešto što ne budete mogli shvatiti. That's what we have a questions and answers service Zato for. Zato ćemo imati službu pitanja i odgovora. If I say anything that you don't like. A ako kažem nešto što vam se ne sviđa. My only request. Moj jedini zahtev i mi molba. Save the stones till the end of the service. Da čuvate tijelje to kamenje do kraja službi. You can stone me but not until I'm finished. Možete me kamenovati, ali samo kad završim. Amen. Amen. Okay. Now you can talk to a Pentecostal believer. Ako bi pričali sa vernikom pentekostalnih crkava, you can talk with him about the Holy Ghost. Mogli biste pričati o njima o Svetom Duhu. If he is well balanced, ako bi on bio dobro balansirana osoba, you can go along with him quite a long way. Mogli biste ići sa njim prilično dug put. If he is Bible based. Ako on temelji svoju veru na Bibliji. If you speak with a good Baptist, a ako pričate sa jednim dobrim baptistom, they will agree that there is a Holy Ghost. Oni će se istina složiti da postoji Sveti Duh. But they will disagree as to how you receive it. Ali počet će se ne slagati oko toga kako se prima. And when you receive it. I kada ga primate. They believe that when you believe you have the Holy Ghost. Oni veruju da kada počnete verovati da tada imate Svetog Duha. But that you can lose it again. Ali da ga ipak možete ponovo i izgubiti. So they do not believe in eternal security. Tako da oni ne veruju u večnu sigurnost. Standard Pentecostal doctrine a standardna pentekostalna doktrina they say that when you receive the holy ghost you're saved and you're sealed oni kažu da kada primite svetog duha da ste spaseni i zapečaćeni but then you can live any way you want to live and it doesn't matter ali da onda nakon toga možete živjeti kako god želite i da nema puno veze a brother branham said he didn't care whether his coat matched his trousers a brat branham je rekao da njega nije briga da li mu, da li mu se sako uklapa sa pantalonima or, or his tie matched his shirt ili da mu se možda kravata uklapa sa košuljom as long as his experience matched God's word. Dokle god se njegovo iskustvo uklapa sa Božjom rečju. Amen. And we know that if there is a Bible question, i mi znamo da ako postoji jedno biblijsko pitanje, there must be a Bible answer. Onda mora da Biblija ima odgovor na njega. Now, now brother Branham made the statement if I can have my first Brat, quote please. Branham je uh, govorio ako mogu samo videti uh, prvi citat. And it's in the message going beyond the camp. A uh, to je propoved naravno idući iz, izvan kampa. Now many ministers quote this quote. Mnogi propovednici citiraju ovaj citat. 
or they quote a part of this quote. Ili citiraju možda samo deo ovog citata. But let me just read here. Ali dopustite mi da ovdje pročitam. He says more and more I am made to believe that people are not getting to Christ. On kaže više i više ja počinjem vjerovati da ljudi ne prilaze Kristu. I'm here to try to help in any way that I can. Ja sam ovdje da pokušam pomoći na svaki način na koji mogu. And make my statement as clear as I know how to make them. I da izrazi moja stajališta onoliko jasno koliko to mogu raditi. And you suffer with me if you will. Ako hoćete vi me istrpite. As I look and preach across the nation and watch the people, dok propovedam širom nacije i posmatram ljude, I am fully persuaded that the people are not getting to Christ. Ja sam potpuno uveren da ljudi ne dolaze Kristu. And I believe that it's the enemy that throwed this hindrance. Ja vjerujem da je to neprijatelj koji baca koji je bacio ovu prepreku. Because the reason I believe this he is not the object that they have been pointed to. Razlog za, zašto ja vjerujem ovo je što Bog nije objekat ka kojem su oni usmereni. Now look to the way he says this. Pogledajte način na koji on ovo govori. They have either been pointed to a dogma or a doctrine. Oni su usmereni ka dogmi ili doktrini or a party ili zabavi or experience ili, or a sensation ili iskustvu ili uzbuđenju or something like that ili nečem takvom instead of being pointed to Christ umjesto da su usmereni ka Kristu the word reči amen he said that's why i think that people are resting their eternal destination to je razlog zašto ja mislim da ljudi zasnivaju svoje večno predodređenje upon some dogma na nekoj dogmi or some sensation ili nekom uzbuđenju watch now some Pazite people sada. are resting their eternal destination kao što neki kažu uh, ne, neki ljudi počivaju na svom večnom odredištu on a doctrine na temelju neke doktrine some of them are resting it on a sensation a neki počivaju na nekoj senzaciji he says like some say i danced in the spirit Uh, on je uh, rekao kao što neki kažu plesao sam u duhu I spoke with tongues ili govorio sam u jezicima I felt fire run over me uh, osjećao sam kao vatra kako vatra struji kroz mene And he says do you know that all those things can be impersonated by the devil I rekao je da li znate da sve te stvari mogu biti imitirane od đavola So brother Branham's concerned now Sada vidimo brata Brahama kako je zabrinut. Even after the opening of the seals, čak nakon otvaranja pečata, was that people were not getting to Christ. Uh, vidi kako ljudi neće doći ka Kristu. And the reason they were not getting to him, a razlog što neće dolaziti ka njemu, is because they were being pointed somewhere else. Je zato što će biti usmereni na, ka nečemu drugom. I mean, in other words, they were being misdirected. U stvari, uh, drugim rečima bit će pogrešno usmereni. Now, which way is Belgrade from here? Dakle, u kom pravcu je odavde Beograd? Can you point me in the right direction? Da li može neko da mi pokaže gdje je Beograd? Somebody, where's Belgrade? Okay. Okay, this tamo, way. Tamo je Beograd, okay. If I came to you and said, A ako bi ja došao do vas, can you give me directions to Belgrade? I pitam, hoćete li mi reći kuda se ide za Beograd? And you said, brother Paul, it's in that direction. A vi kažete, brate Paul, ide se tamo za Beograd. I'm going to believe you. I ja vam povjerujem. And I'm going to head off in that direction. I ja ću krenuti u tom pravcu. And I'm never going to get to Belgrade. I nikada tako neću stići do Beograda. I have been misdirected. Zato što sam bio pogrešno usmeren. I have been pointed to the wrong direction. Bio sam usmeren u pogrešnom pravcu. Brother Branham said some are pointing to a doctrine. Brother Branham kaže neki usmeravaju na doktrinu. Some are pointing to a sensation. A neki na uzbuđenje senzaciju instead of being pointed to Christ the word umjesto da budu upućeni na Krista koji je reč amen. amen amen now a big part of the problem is terminology dakle veliki uh, deo problema je ovdje u terminologiji we use different words mi koristimo razne reči and that causes confusion i onda to proizvede zbrku i have the next slide brother mogu li imati sljedeći slajd jesus said to nicodemus Isus od, uh, Isus odgo, uh, odgovor Isus i reče mu John chapter 3 and verse 3 Jovan 3, 3 Except a man be born again he cannot see the kingdom of God Zaista zaista ti kažem ako se ko nanovo ne rodi ne može videti carstvo Božje Thanks brother Then and, then he said to Peter A onda je rekao Petru Luke 22 and 32 Luka 22 i 32 When thou art converted strengthen thy brethren 
I ti kad god obrativši se, utvrdi braću svoju. Then in Acts chapter 2 and 4, a onda dela apostolska 2.4 Speaking of the 120 in the upper room Govori se ovdje o njih 120 u gornjoj sobi They were all filled with the Holy Ghost I napuniše se svi duha svetoga And began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance I stadoše govoriti drugim jezicima kao što im duh davaše te govoraku Then Paul wrote in 1 Corinthians chapter 12 A onda Pavle piše u 1. Korinčanima 12.13 Verse 13 Znači 30 stih. For by one spirit are we all baptized into one body. Jer jednim duhom svi smo kršteni u jedno telo. Then to the Ephesians. A onda ide dalje u Efežane. Chapter 4 and 30. Četiri, uh, četvrta glava, 30 stih. And grieve not the Holy Spirit of God. I ne ožalošćavajte svetoga duha Božijeg. Whereby ye are sealed <coughs> unto the day of redemption. Kojim ste zapečećeni za dan izbavljenja ili otkupljenja. Now watch the terminology. Sada pratite ovdje način izražavanja ili terminologiju. Jesus wasn't saying one thing to Nicodemus and then another to Peter. Isus nije ovdje rekao jednu stvar Nikodemu, a posle nešto drugo Petru. He said born again to Nicodemus. Uh, rekao je Nikodemu nanovo rođen. He said converted to Peter. A Petru je rekao obraćen. But it was the same thing. Ali u stvari govori se o istoj stvari. Then on the day of Pentecost. A onda na dan Pentecosta, what Jesus was talking about, ono o čemu je u stvari Isus govorio, it, it actually happened. To se u stvari i desilo. And Luke records, a Luka beleži, they were filled with the Holy Ghost. Da, se, da su se ispunili svetim duhom. Then Apostle Paul, a onda apostol Pavle, he says baptized to the Corinthians, uh, rekao je Korinčanima kršteni, and sealed to the Ephesians. A u Efežanima kaže zapečaćeni. But he's not saying different to what Jesus taught. Ali on uopšte ne priča o nečemu drugom od onoga što je naučavao Isus. It's terminology. To je samo terminologija, izražavanje. But what is actually happening? Ali šta se u stvari dešava? The event, događaj, in each case, u svakom od tih slučajeva, the actual salvation experience, u stvari samo iskustvo spasenja, it is identical in each case. Je identično u svakom pojedinom slučaju. Can you say amen? Možete li reći amen? And it is an experience. I ono jeste iskustvo. It's important that you understand this. Veoma je važno da to shvatite. The new birth is an experience. Je novo rođenje jeste iskustvo. Something actually happens. Je nešto se u stvari zaista dogodi. This is not you learn something. To nije da vi nešto naučite. This is not a teaching or a doctrine. To nije ni učenje ili doktrina. This is not something theo- theological. To nije nešto teološki proizvedeno. It, it has nothing to do with your brain at all. I nema uopšte veze sa vašim mozgom. It has nothing to do with your spirit realm. Nema čak ni, nikakve veze ni sa oblasti vašeg duha. This pertains to the soul. To se odnosi na dušu. And it is an event. I to je događaj. And when the seed of God is quickened within you, jer kada je seme Božje u vama oživljeno, the eternal attribute of God, tada večni Božji atribut, every Christian is born with that. Jer svaki hrišćanin je rođen sa tim. Then when the Holy Spirit comes in, a onda kada Sveti Duh uđe unutra, when it takes up residence within a believer, kada se nastane unutar vernika, there is something there that was not there before. Tada je nešto tamo što pre toga nije bilo tamo. Something Amen. changes. Nešto se menja. I say it again, something changes. Reći ću ponovo, nešto se menja. And that change is irreversible. A ta promjena je neporeciva. Ne iz, neizmenjiva. We understand ne... in nature. Uh, what? We understand this in nature. Mi to razumemo i vidimo i u prirodi. When a caterpillar turns into a butterfly, kada se gusenica pretvori u leptira, when a tadpole turns into a frog, uh, kada se uh, onaj mali punoglavac pretvori u žabu, you do not see that process reversed. Vi ne možete vidjeti taj proces u- unazad. Amen? That change is irreversible. Ta promjena je nepovratna. Now, Brother Branham said sometimes a snake or a turtle Brad Braham kaže ponekad zmija ili kornjača. They get caught up in the gospel net. I oni budu uhvaćeni u evanđelskoj mreži. Amen, and then they crawl back to the water again. A onda ponovo otpuze nazad u vodu. Like Judas did. 
Kao što je to učinio Juda. But you do not ever see a butterfly change its mind. Ali vi nikada niste vidjeli da se leptir predomisli and decide he's going to become a caterpillar again. I kaže ponovo ću biti gusenica. A frog does not backslide. Ni, ni žaba se ne vraća nazad u greh and become a tadpole again. Pa da postane punoglavac. Amen. After the upper room, nakon iskustva gornje sobe, none of them went back into the world again. Ni jedan od njih se ponovo nije vratio u svet. Judas did, Juda jeste, but Judas never made it to the upper room in the first ali place. Ali Juda nije uopšte stigao do gornje sobe. Amen. Are we together so far? Da li pratite do sada? Something actually happens. Jer u stvari nešto se desi. In the questions and answers, u pitanjima i odgovorima, Brother Branham makes this statement. Brat Branham uh, daje jednu izjavu. He says, Amen. You're not converted until you receive the Holy Ghost. Niste obraćeni dok ne primite Svetog Duha. Remember that you're only potentially converted. Zapamtite to, samo ste potencijalno obraćeni. If you ask me for an oak tree, ako me pitate za hrast, and I give you an acorn, a ja bi vam dao žir, potentially you have an oak tree. Potencionalno imate hrast. Potentially. Samo potencionalno. But it isn't developed yet. Ali on još nije razvijen. That's the reason I believe in security the way that I do. Zato ja verujem u sigurnost onako kako verujem. If I ask for a cornfield, ako bih ja zatražio polje žita and I see the corn up about that high, i video žito ovoliko visoko potentially I have a field of corn potencionalno bih imao polje žita it isn't developed yet ono još nije razvijeno something could happen nešto se može dogoditi now you could have a fire sad uh, mogli biste imati vatru you could have a hailstorm mogli biste imali grad You could have a disease go through the crop. Mogli biste imati obolelo uras usev. So that the corn never comes to a harvest. Tako da pšenica ili kukuruz ne dođe do žetve. You only have it potentially. Vi tada to još imate samo kao potencijalno. And brother Branham says this. A onda brat Branham kaže ovo. You're on your road through justification. Sad ste na putu kroz opravdanje. And sanctification. I posvećenje to the baptism of the holy ghost do krštenja svetim duhom but when you're genuinely baptized with the holy ghost ali kada ste istinski kršteni duhom svetim genuinely baptized with the holy ghost istinski kršteni duhom svetim then you're in the kingdom vi ste tada u kraljevstvu now we need to understand this mi moramo to razumeti you do not become a christian when you give your heart to the lord vi ne postajete hrišćanin tada kada dajete srce Gospodu. You do not become a Christian when you say the sinner's prayer. Ne postajete ni hrišćanin kada uh, molite tu molitvu pokajanja. You do not become a Christian when you're baptized in Jesus name. Čak ne postajete ni hrišćanin kada se krštavate u ime Isusa Hrista. You do not become a Christian when you join a church. Ne postajete ni hrišćanin kada se učlanite u crkvu. And when you start paying your tithes. I kada počnete možda davati desetak. You do not become a Christian when you begin to dress right. I ne postajete ni hrišćanin onda kada se počnete ispravno oblačiti. And think right i čak misliti ispravno and speak right čak i kada govorite ispravno all of those things come under justification and sanctification jer sve te stvari su proizvod opravdanja i posvećenja amen amen the foolish virgins come that far jer i lude device su došle sve do tog mesta potentially saved oni su potencijalno spaseni potentially a christian potencijalno su hrišćani but at that stage ali na, u toj fazi you could be a Peter or you could be a Judas. Možete biti i Petar i Juda. Peter and Judas were just as justified as the other. Jer i Petar i Juda su bili opravdani isto onoliko kao i ostali. Just as sanctified as the other. Posvećeni upravo isto onoliko kao i ostali. The foolish virgins are just as sanctified as the bride. Jer i luda devica je isto posvećena kao i nevesta. Amen. Even in a natural birth. Čak se to vidi i u prirodnom rođenju. The first stage is that the waters break. Prva, prva faza je kada pukne mehur i krene voda. And then blood comes. Pa se onda pojavi i krv. But that's still no guarantee of a birth. Ali i dalje to nije garancija rođenja. A stillborn baby comes through exactly the same stages. Uh, I mrtva beba može proći kroz uh, te dve faze. 
Amen. The difference with a healthy live delivery razlika između jednog zdravog poređaja is that there is a life comes down. Amen. Je taj što dolazi život. And that takes us back to Genesis chapter 2. I to nas vodi do postanka 2. Adam's body was formed out of the earth. Adamovo telo je bilo oformljeno iz zemlje. But Brother Branham said he was standing there like a tree. A brat Branham je rekao on je tamo stojao kao jedno drvo. Dead as could be. Mrtav samo kako može biti. Toes like roots sticking into the ground. Uh, noždi prsti su mu bili kao korenje zabodeno u zemlju. Until life entered that body. Dok život nije ušao u to telo. Then he became a living soul. Tada je postao živa duša. God took that Life that he created in Genesis 1. Bog je uzeo taj stvoreni život iz postanka prve glave. And he placed it in the body that he created in Genesis 2. I onda je ga je postavio u telo koje je stvorio u postanku druga glava. Then he became a living soul. I tada je on postao živa duša. Now he was complete. Sada je on bio završen. When the spiritual and the physical came together. Kada su se i duhovno i materijalno spojili u jedno. That was the way that Adam came. Tako je došao Adam. That was the way that you were supposed to come. To je bio način kako ste vi trebali doći. But on the way the plans got changed. Ali u međuvremenu plan se izmenio. The serpent had a conversation with Eve. Zmijac je uh, porazgovarao sa Evom. And he taught her. I on je naučio another way to bring life forth. Da postoji i drugi način rađanja života. And we came that way. I mi smo došli tim putem. We came like the rest of the animal kingdom. Mi smo došli kao ostali iz životinskog carstva. Listen carefully. Slušajte pažljivo. Adam was deity on the inside. A što se tiče Adama iznutra, on je bio božanstvo. An animal on the outside. A spoljašnji njegov deo je kao životinja. But he was deity before he was animal. Ali pre nego što je bio stavljen u, kao životinja, pre toga je bio božanstvo. So the deity part had the preeminence. Tako da je taj boži deo imao nadmoć. We came animal first. A mi smo došli prvo kao životinja. With the potential on the inside. Sa jednim potencijalom iznutra. To be deity. Da postanemo božanstvo. But because we came animal first. Ali radi toga što smo došli prvo kao životinja. The animal part had the preeminence. Taj životinski deo ima nadmoć. That's why you lived the way you lived. Zato ste živeli kako ste živeli do sad. That's the way you behaved the way you behaved. Zato ste se ponašali kako ste se ponašali. That life was no different to animal life. Jer taj život nije bio ni u čemu drugačiji od životinskog života. So our first birth brought us into the animal kingdom. Tako da nas je naše prvo rođenje unelo u životinsko kraljevstvo. That's why we need to be born again. Zbog toga moramo biti na novo rođeni. Thank you my brother John chapter 1. Uh, Jovan prva glava 11 through to 13 od 11 do 13 He came unto his own and his own received him not K svojima dođe i svoji ga ne primiše But as many as received him a koji ga primiše to them gave he power to become the sons of God da da im vlast da budu sinovi Božji even to them that believe on his name koji veruju u ime njegovo which were born not of blood koji se ne rodiše od krvi no of the will of the flesh ni od volje telesne no of the will of man ni od volje muževlje muževljeve but of god nego od boga every single one of us came born of blood svaki pojedini od nas je došao rođenjem kroz krv born by your father's blood rođen od krvi svoga oca born in your mother's blood rođen kroz krv svoje majke whether you were an accident Bez obzira da li, ste, da li je to bilo slučajnost or whether you were planned ili ste bili planirani you came by the natural will of your parents došli ste na zemlju po prirodnoj volji svojih roditelja but jesus said to nicodemus ali isus je rekao nikodemu he said your first birth was not enough rekao je tvoje prvo rođenje ti nije dovoljno that got the animal part of you here ti imaš samo životinski deo sebe ovdje your parents did that to, to je rezultat tvojih roditelja. That was your mother and father bringing forth of their kind. To, to je bilo od tvoga oca i majke koji su doneli po svojoj vrsti. But when you're born again, ali kada se nanovo rodiš, that is God bringing forth of his kind. To je kada Bog donosi na, od svoje vrste. Amen? 
Hallelujah. Amen. Actually, that's a whole new race. U stvari to je onda je jedna potpuno nova rasa. That's a whole new species. To je nova vrsta. By your first birth, you're human. Po prvom rođenju vi ste čovjek. But by your new birth, you're not even human. Ali po novom rođenju niste čak više ni čovjek. You're more than human. Vi ste više od čovjeka. You're superhuman. Vi ste super čovjek. Hallelujah. Jesus was the firstborn of many brethren. A Isus je bio prvo, prvorođeni među mnogom braćom. God said, I'm going to start a whole new race Bog down je, here on the earth. Bog je rekao, počet ću sa potpuno novom rasom dole na zemlji. By, the, by my spoken word preko svoje izgovorene reči by my spirit kroz svog duha and jesus was the first a isus je bio prvi takav but he's not the only ali on nije jedini there were more to come je treba još da dođe na njega by the same word koji će doći od iste reči he come by the same spirit od istog duha he was the first born among many brethren on je bio prvorođeni među mnogom braćom hallelujah I believe I'm looking at some of his brethren this morning. Verujem da gledam među vama neke od njegove braće. Now in the communion service brother Branham said this. U propovedi večera gospodnja priča s brat Branham je rekao sljedeće. He said one day as I walked on, a onda jednog dana dok sam hodao, that voice talking. Taj glas je progovorio. Don't ever smoke, drink and so forth. Nemoj nikad pušiti niti piti niti tako dalje. And the young fellows and all get older. A ostarilo se? He said there was something moving. Rekao, vidite, bilo je tamo nešto što se kretalo. He says, yet all at once I looked up. I onda izdena da pogledao sam gore. This was many years later. A ovo je bilo puno godina kasnije. And he said, I am not the son of Charles and Ella Branham. I rekao sam, ja nisam sin Charlesa i Ella Branham. He said, there's something calling. Po, rekao je, postoji nešto što me poziva. I'm not the son of Charles and Ella Branham. Ja nisam sin Charlesa i Ella Branham. Now listen. Charles and Ella Branham brought forth after their kind. Jer Charles i Ella Branham su rodili prema svojoj vrsti. Amen. And he was a 14-year-old boy. A on je bio dečak sa 14 godina. And he had a hunting accident. I imao je tu nesreću u lovu. And his legs were shot. I noge su mu bile upucane. And he was lying in hospital. I bio je u bolnici. And his blood pressure was falling. I kako je padao krvni plin pritisak. And he felt himself falling, falling, falling. I on je osjećao kako propada, propada i propada. Now watch, predestinated. I vidite sada predodređeno. For no one. Pre, unapred znan. Elected. Izabran. But not born again. Ali još nije bio nanovo rođen. Born a prophet. Rođen kao prorok, born a church age messenger. Rođen kao glasnik crkvenog doba. Think now Revelation chapter 1. Razmislite otkrivenje prva glava. Seven stars on the right hand of God. Sedam zvezda u Božijoj desnici. And God threw a star onto the earth. I Bog šalje zvezdu na zemlju. And that was apostle Paul. I ta prva zvezda je apostol Pavle. And he threw another and another. Pa sljedeću, pa sljedeću. And that was Arrhenius and Martin. I onda to su Irine i Martin. Then Columba. I Columba. Then Luther. I Luther. And Wesley. Pa Wesley. So there came a time. Dok nije došlo vreme. When God had one star left. Bogu je ostala još jedna one zvezda. messenger left. Moj glasnik preostao. In 1909. He threw that star into the earth. On je poslao tu zvezdu na zemlju. Malachi 4. Malachi 4. Revelation 10:7. The seventh church age messenger. Vlasnik sedmog crkvenog doba. Predestinated. Predodređen. But not born again. Ali još nije nanovo rođen. And as a 14 year old boy. I kao dečak od 14 godina. Here he is dying on a hospital bed. Evo ga kako umire u bolnici na krevetu. Not born again. A još nije bio nanovo rođen. There's only one place you can go. A tada postoji samo jedno mesto gdje možete ići. He went to hell. Church. On se spustio dole u pakao. He went to the fifth dimension. Otišao je do pete dimenzije. He saw horrible, terrible things. I vidio je tamo užasne, grozne jezive stvari. His experience never left him. I to iskustvo ga nikad nije napustilo. Even when he became an old man, he still remembered it. Čak i dok je bio star čovjek, još uvijek se toga sećao. A prophet prorok a messenger glasnik predestinated predodređen amen but not born again ali još ne na novo rođen so when he was when he died tako kad je umro there was one place he could go bilo je samo jedno mesto gdje je mogao ići hallelujah amen amen of course because he was predestinated ali naravno radi svog predodređenja he couldn't stay in hell nije mogao ostati u paklu hell had to spit him out again pakao je morao da ga izbljuje napolje the whale had to spit jonah out again 
i kit je morao Jonu izbaciti napolje ponovo. The fiery furnace had to spit Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego out again. I ovdje na peć je morala Sebdaha, Miseka i Abednego izbaciti napolje. You understand what I'm saying? Da li bi razumete šta pričam? So Charles and Ella Branham brought forth of their kind. Tako da su Charles i Ella Branham rodili od svoje vrste. But then God had to bring forth of his kind. Ali onda i Bog mora doneti od svoje vrste. Amen. And that experience is typed all the way through the Old Testament. A to iskustvo je tipizirano celim putem kroz stari za, uh, zavet. In the Old Testament, u starom zavetu, in Noah's day, u danima Noja, it was to be shut in the ark. To je uh, moralo da bude zat U Noevom danu biti zatvoren u barku. In Abraham's day, u Abrahamovom danu it was to receive the seal of circumcision. To je bio pečat obrezanja. In Moses day, u Mojsijevom danu Exodus 12, izlazak 12, it was the blood on the doorpost. To je bilo pod krvlju na dovratniku. It was the token on display. To je bio pokazani znak. In Joshua's day, a u Jošuinom danu it was to cross over Jordan. To je bio prelazak Jordana. And enter into Canaan. I ulazak u Hanan. In Ezekiel chapter 9, u Ezekijevoj vizi, deveta glava, it was to be marked on the forehead by the one who had the writer's inkhorn. To je značilo biti označen na čelu od čoveka sa pisarskom opravom. Now, these are very different experiences, ovo su prilično različite iskustva, but they are ways through the Old Testament, ali to su ti putevi kroz stari zavet, that God has represented the new birth. Kroz koje je Bog samo predstavio na novo rođenje. And we're very familiar with these stories. I mi smo prilično upoznati s ovim pričama. But we understand this. Ali trebamo ovo razumeti. To be outside any of these experiences. U to vreme biti izvan ma kojeg od ovog uh, iskustva. If you lived in that day, ako biste živeli u jednom od ovih dana, it was to be outside of life. To bi značilo biti izvan života. If you were out of the ark when the rain fell, ako biste bili izvan barke kada je pala kiša. If you were outside of the token in Exodus 12. Ako biste bili izvan znaka u izlasku 12. glava. If you were outside of the seal of circumcision. Ako ne biste nosili pečat obrezanja. It was death. To bi značilo smrt. Amen. And the Old Testament was a type and shadow. A stari zavet je bio tip i senka. And these represented the new birth. I sve ovo je predstavljalo novo rođenje. Now, now each age had to be taught what to do. Dakle svako doba je moralo biti učeno šta treba da se radi u njemu. So there was an element of teaching. Tako da postoji element učenja. There was an element of doctrine. Postoji element doktrine. There was an element that the intellect had to understand. Bio je element koji je morao intelekt da shvati. But beyond that there was something they had to experience. Ali Amen. dalje od toga bilo je nešto što se moralo i iskusiti. And we believe in predestination. I mi verujemo u predodređenje. All down through the ages it was predestination. Kroz kroz, kroz doba bilo je predodređenje u slici. But to be predestinated. Ali biti predodređen. Means that you are predestinated to to this experience. Znači biti predodređen u ta iskustva. This is not just oh I'm predestinated. To ne znači oh ja sam predodređen i sad mogu da spavam. Wake me up at the wedding supper. Probudi me kad dođe uh, Jagdetova svadba, jel? Wake me up for the rapture. Probudi me kad bude uznesenje. Wake me up for the millennium. Probudi me kad nastupi milenijum. I'm predestinated. Ja sam predodređen. Amen. That's that's a that's a wrong spirit. To je jako pogrešan duh. If you predestinated, ako ste predodređeni, you predestinated to this experience. Vi ste predodređeni za ta iskustva. Amen. And when our lives are surrendered to him. I kada su naši životi predani njemu. When we're fully laid down before him. Kad smo potpuno položeni pred njim. In the way that he requires. Na način kako on to zahteva. Then he acknowledges our faith. Onda on prepoznaje našu veru by giving us his spirit. 
tako što nam daje svoga duha. Now Abraham believed God. Dakle Abraham je verovao Bogu. It was counted to him for righteousness. I to mu je bilo uračunato u pravdu. There was nothing more that Abraham could do. I nije bilo ničega drugog što bi Abraham mogao učiniti. Than to believe God and obey God. Da veruje Bogu i da sluša Boga. But then God gave him the seal of circumcision. Ali tada mu je Bog dao pečat obrezanja. To acknowledge that his faith had been received da bi bilo prepoznato da je njegova vera bila prihvaćena. Amen. And it's no different in our day. I, I nije drugačije ni danas. Now, when the life of God comes down, jer kad se spusti dole Boži život, it lives itself out through us. On živi svoj život kroz nas. There is always an evidence to that. I uvek postoji dokaz za to. But it is the evidence that we have the biggest fights about. Ali to je dokaz kroz koji mi prolazimo kroz najveće borbe. Now remember this about Satan. Uh, remember this about the devil. Uh, služ, uh, zapamtite ovo što se tiče djavola. It's the devil's job Posao djavola je to make you think you have something that you don't. Da vas navede da mislite da ima da nešto nemate što u stvari imate. And to make you think that you don't have something that you do. Ili da vas navede, navede da nešto nemate što imate. Wherever you are. Gde god da ste. The devil is going to withstand you. Djavo će biti tamo da vam se suprostavi. So my question is what is the evidence? Pa onda moje pitanje je recite mi šta je dokaz? Ja. Yeah. Just put, put down your stones for a moment. Sada spustite kamenje. I believe that the fruits of the spirit are important. Ja verujem da su rodovi duha veoma važni. I believe that the gifts of the spirit are important. Verujem da su i darovi duha veoma važni. If the spirit of God lives inside, ako duh Boži živi iznutra, there will be fruits and there will be gifts. Biće i rodova, biće i darova. Brother Branham said this. Brat Branham je ovo rekao. In that body is nine spiritual gifts. U tom telu nalazi se devet duhovnih darova. Operating through the local body. Koji deluju kroz lokalno telo. The local church. Ovo što je lokalna crkva. That's September 1965. To je septembar 1965. That's three months before God took him home. To je tri meseca pre nego što ga je Bog odveo kući. He, he didn't say every believer will have nine spiritual gifts. Nije rekao svaki vernik pojedini će imati svih devet darova. But he said in the local body in the church. Već je rekao lokalno telo i lokalna crkva. Those things should be there. Te stvari moraju biti tamo. But yet Pentecost can outdo any of us in gifts. A Pentecostalci mogu nas nadvisiti ma kojega u darovima. Jesus said in Matthew 7 and 22. Jer Isus je rekao u Matiju 7 i 22. Many will come to me in that day. Onoga dana će mnogi doći ka meni. Lord, have we not prophesied? Gospode, nismo li prorokovali? Have we not cast out devils? Nismo li izbacivali đavole? Have we not done wonderful works? Nismo li činili silna dela? Amen. And Jesus said, A Isus im govori, be, They will be told, depart from me. Biće im rečeno, odstupite od mene. I never knew you. Jer vas nikad nisam poznao. Amen. So that means prophecy is not the evidence. Tako da to znači da proroštvo nije dokaz. Casting out devils is not the evidence. Izbacivanje đavola nije dokaz. Doing mighty works is not the evidence. Činiti silna dela čak nije dokaz. Those things are good. Te stvari su dobre. Those things should be there. One trebaju biti tamo. But they are not the evidence. Ali nisu znak, dokaz. Many have spiritual gifts. Mnogi imaju duhovne darove. And still deny the word. A i dalje poriču reč. I was at my uncle's Pentecostal church one time. Ja sam bio u Pentecostalnoj crkvi kod svog ujaka. This was years ago before I was pastoring. To je bilo još godinama ranije prije što sam postao pastor. I, I couldn't get to my own church. Nisam mogu, uh, what? I couldn't get to my own Nije church. To do, uh, u svojoj crkvi. So I visited my uncle's church. Tako da je posjetio uh, crkvu svog ujaka. And we were worshiping. I mi smo proslavljali. I had my hands up and my eyes closed. Podigao sam ruke i imao zatvorene oči. I always wished that I could sing. Uvijek sam želeo da mogu pevati. My mind knows how. Moj um zna kako. But my voice doesn't know how. Ali moj glas ne zna baš kako. But I always wish that I could. Ali uvijek sam želeo kad bi samo mogao. But I was making a joyful noise. Ali ja sam pravio prilično radosnu buku. And just three or four people away a woman started singing. I upravo tri, četiri od mene uh, mesta jedna žena je počela da peva. I thought the angels had come down. Mislio sam da su anđeli sišli dole. Her voice was beautiful. Glas je bio predivan. Every note was perfect. Svaka nota perfektna. The melody 
was fantastic. Melodia fantastična. The harmonies were out of this world. Harmonija van svetovna. I said I've come to heaven. Rekao sam evo me na nebu. And I opened my eyes and I looked. I otvorio sam oči i pogledao. She's there in a pair of jeans. Ona je tamo u farbericama. With short hair. Sa kratkom kosom. Now was it a gift? Da li je to bio dar? Absolutely I believe it was a gift. Apsolutno verujem da je to bio dar. Was she born again? Da li je bila nanovo rođena? Absolutely not born again. To posto nije bila nanovo rođena. So no gift is the evidence. Tako da dar ne može biti nikakav dokaz. Amen. Brother Branham said the Christian science people. Brother Branham kaže da ljudi iz hrišćanske nauke. He said they have more love than anyone I know. Kaže oni imaju više ljubavi od bilo koga koga ja poznajem. And they don't even believe that Jesus is God. Ali čak ne vjeruju da je Isus bio Bog. So those things need to be there. Dakle te stvari moraju biti tamo. Love, joy, peace, patience, patience, dugotrpljenje i Those things need to be there. Te stvari su potrebne da su tamo. But neither are they evidence. Ali ni jedan od njih nije tamo kao dokaz. So now my question to you tako moje kao vama hrišćanima. I'm asking you the question. Pitam vas pitanje. You need to have an answer. A vi bi trebali imati odgovor. How can we know what the evidence is? Kako da znamo šta je onda dokaz? Who in this generation ko u ovoj generaciji is qualified to answer the question? Je kvalifikovan da odgovori na to pitanje. I like brother Yanko. Dopada mi se brat Yanko. But brother Yanko is not qualified to answer the question. Ali brat Yanko nije kvalifikovan da da odgovor na pitanje. I like brother Aladdin. Sviđa mi se i brat. I only met him this morning. Tek sam ga jutro sreo. But he's a nice brother. Ali fin je brat. But he's not qualified to answer the question. Ali nema kvalifikacije da da odgovor na pitanje. In this generation, u ovom u ovoj generaciji, there is one person. Postojala je jedna osoba. Above every other person. Koja je bila iznad svake druge osobe. Who's qualified to tell us what the genuine evidence is? Koji je bio kvalifikovan da nam kaže šta je pravi dokaz? Who could that be? Pa kuzajne boga ko je to? Could that be the pope? Da li je to možda papa? Could be that that be the patriarch? Da li bi to neki bio neki patriarh? Could that be Benny Hinn? Da li bi to možda bio Benny Hinn? Could that be brother Paul? Da li je to možda brat Paul? Sorry to tell you, it's not. Žao mi je što vam moram reći nisam. God sent one messenger. Bog je poslao jednog glasnika. And that we know was Malachi 4. I mi znamo da je to ispunjenje Malahije 4. Revelation 10 and 7. Da je to ispunjenje otkrivenja 10:7. Brother Branham. Izove se brat Branham. So that, that answer should be obvious. Tako da je odgovor veoma očigledan. If any man, if any man, ako ma koji čovjek, even a minister, čak i propovednik, even in the message, čak unutar poruke, tries to point you to a different evidence, pokušava da vas usmeri na neki drugi dokaz, you have to tell him where to go. Morate mu reći kuda da ide. Back to where he came from. Nazad odakle je došao. You say brother Paul that's mean. Kažete brate Paul pa to je stvarno zlo tvrdo. Apostle Paul 2000 years ago. Apostol Pavle pre 2000 godina. He said if any man consider him spiritual. Rekao je ako neko sebe smatra duhovnim. Let him acknowledge the things that I say. Neka prepozna da ono što ja govorim. That they are the truth. Da je to istina. In Paul's day. U Pavlovom danu. Even to preach the gospel. Čak propovedati evanđelje. You first had to acknowledge that Paul had the message. Morali ste pre toga prepoznati i priznati da Pavle ima poruku. Amen. The same in this day. Isto je i u ovom danu. So now if we know who it is, tako ako znamo ko je to, what did he say? I šta je rekao? Thank you my brother. Hvala ti brate. Now in the message is this the sign of the answer? U propovedi da li je ovo znak kraja? Now this is this is the sermon. Uh, ovo je, uh, just a minute, ovo je, ovo je ta, uh, još, da li to zna kraja, još, 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 nema ništa. Evo, that's okay, it, that, that's it, that's what we want. Ok. To je to. All I can read there is the date. Sve što ja tamo mogu pročitati je datum. 
You haven't changed the numbers. A, niste još promenili brojeve. You've changed, you've changed all the words. Sve ste reči izmenili. You've changed all the letters. Sve, sve što se Bože pitati. But at least I can read the numbers. Ali ipak brojeve mogu nekako pročitati. Praise God. Hvala Gospodu. This is the message. Ovo je poruka. Where Brother Branham listed the mysteries. A, uh, where? That Brother Branham listed the mysteries. Te Brad Branham naveo tajne. That the seventh angel would reveal. Koje će sedmi glasnik anđeo otkriti? So he says the serpent seed. Uh, z- kaže zmičevo potomstvo. That's been a hidden mystery through the years. Koje je bilo skrivena tajna svi godina. The grace straightened out. Milost je to ispravno donela. Not disgrace. Ne, ne milost ili sramota. But real true grace. Već stvarna ista, istinska milost. No such thing as an eternal burning hell. Nema takve stvari kao več, večno goreći pakao. You'll burn for millions of years. Bićete goreti milione godina. But anything that was eternal had never beginning nor end. Ali bilo šta što je večno nema ni početka and ni hell, kraja. And hell was created. A pakao je bio stvoren. All these mysteries. Sve ove tajne. Are you still with me? Da li me pratite? Put your seat belts on. Vežite se sada. Do you have earbags? Imate li vazdušne jastuke? Okay, just The mystery of the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Tajna krštenja Duhom Svetim. Without sensation. Bez uzbuđenja. But the person of Christ. Već osoba Hrista. Performing in you. Čini u vama. The same works that he did. Ista dela koja je on činio. Now remember I asked you the question. Upamtite, pitam vas pitanje. Who is qualified to tell us about the evidence of the Holy Ghost? Ko je kvalifikovan da nam kaže šta je dokaz Svetoga Duha? Do you think you are? Da li mislite da ste vi? Sorry. Žao mi je. You're nice people. Vi ste fini ljudi. But you're not qualified. Ali niste kvalifikovani. I'm a nice person. Mo- ja sam fina osoba. Most of the time I'm a nice person. Uglavnom sam fina osoba. But I'm not qualified. Ali nisam kvalifikovan. This is the one who was sent. Ovo je bio onaj koji je bio poslan. To tell us these things. Da nam kaže ove stvari. This is the only one who's qualified. Ovo je bio jedini koji je imao kvalifikaciju. Amen. Now, in the ne- in the message broken sisters. U propovedi iskucani studenti. He said today I was talking with my good friend Dr. Lee Vale. Rekao je danas sam razgovarao sa svojim dobrim prijateljem, doktorom Lee Valeom. And he's quite a theologian. I on je pomalo teolog. And we usually have some pretty good discussions on the scripture. Tako da mi inače vodimo dobre diskusije o pismu. He's very smart. Veoma je pametan. And, and he asked me one time what I thought about the initial, initial evidence of the Holy Ghost. A jedno me je pitao šta mislim o potencijalnom dokazu Svetog Duha, da li je to govorenje u jezicima? Was it speaking in tongues? Uh, da li je to bilo govorenje u jezicima? It's been many years ago. To je bilo pre mnogo godina. He says no, I said no, I can't see that. Rekao sam ne, ne mogu to videti. He said neither do I though I've been taught that. On je rekao ne mogu ni ja rekavši iako sam uh, prošao kroz to. What would you think would be an evidence? Rekao je šta misliš da bi mogao biti dokaz? So now his brother Vale. Dakle evo brata Vale. Asking brother Branham kako pita brata Branhama what he considered the evidence would be šta on smatra šta je dokaz brother Branham said the most perfect evidence i can think of is love a brat Branham je rekao najsavršeniji dokaz kojeg se mogu setiti je ljubav so we got talking on that tako smo razgovarali o tome he said i thought that sounded pretty good a onda sam pomislio da to zvuči jako dobro so i just held that if a man has got love tako da sam se držao toga ako je čovjek ima ljubav Now, brother Branham didn't make this up what brother Branham didn't just aha Make up an answer. Brad, Brad Braham tu nije izmislio odgovor. He was thinking of 1 Corinthians 13. On je u stvari razmišljao o 1. Korinčanima 13. The love chapter. To je uh, glava ljubavi. If I speak in tongues of men and angels. Ako govorim jezicima anđele, anđela i ljudi. If I give all my goods to the poor. I ako razdelim sva svoja imanja I, siromašnima. If I give my body to be burnt. Ako predam telo svoje na spaljivanje. If I understand all mysteries. Ako bi shvatio i sve tajne. Paul said if I have all of those things but not love, I'm gone. Pavle je rekao ako bi sve to mogao imati i nemam ljubavi, ja sam gotov. So this is what brother Branham was using as evidence. Tako da je brat Braham tu stvar koristio kao dokaz. But one day, here we are. Ali jednog dana, the nas, Lord in a vision. Gospod mu je rasvetlio to u viziji. Straighten me out. 
To je Gospod mi je to rasvetlio u viziji. And he said that the evidence of the spirit was those who could receive the word. I rekao je da je dokaz svetog duha bio taj Neid, da oni koji mogu primiti reč. Neither love, ne ljubav, nor speaking in tongues, niti govorenje u jezicima, but it's receiving the word. Već to je prihvatanje ili primanje reči. Then Dr. Vail was saying to me, a onda je doktor Vail rekao o meni, that is scriptural. Da je to po pismu. Surprise, surprise. Uh, iznenađenje na iznenađenje. He was a word prophet. On je bio prorok reči. Why would he teach us something? Zašto bi učio nešto? That was this important. Uh, what? Why would he teach us something this important? Zašto bi učio nešto što je tako važno? If it wasn't scriptural. A da nije po pismu. Of course it would be scriptural. Sigurno da mora biti po pismu. Amen. He said John 14. Rekao je Jovan 14 When he the Holy Ghost has come upon you Kada on sveti duh dođe u vas He will reveal these things to you On će vam otkriti ovo that I've taught you što sam vam ja rekao and will show you things to come I pokazat će vam stvari koje dolaze So this is the genuine evidence of the Holy Ghost Tako to je pravi dokaz svetog duha He's never told me anything wrong yet On mi još uvek nikada nije rekao ništa pogrešno The evidence of the Holy Ghost is he who can believe the word to je, to je to dokaz svetog duha je onaj ko može verovati reč you can receive it onaj ko je može primiti because jesus never said when the holy ghost has come you'll speak with tongues jer isus nikad nije rekao kada dođe sveti duh govorićete u jezicima he never said when the holy ghost come you do any of those things on nije nikada rekao kada sveti duh dođe činićete nešto od ovoga but he said he will take these things of mine and show them to you on je rekao on će uzeti moje stvari i pokazati ih vama and will show you things that is to come i pokazaće vam stvari koje dolaze so there is the genuine evidence of the holy ghost a to postoji pravi dokaz svetog duha according to Jesus himself prema samom prema samim Isusovim rečima Sirs we would see Jesus uh, Gospodo mi bi da vidimo Isusa Brother Bram says through each age Brad Abraham kaže kroz svako doba God has allotted so much word Bog je do, do, dodelio toliko reči. And the churches get it all confused up. A crkve su sve to zbrkale. And he sends a prophet among them and vindicates that word. Zatim on šalje proroka među njih i potvrđuje tu reč. Next paragraph he says the Lutheran said when you believe that's all you have to do. Uh, luterani kažu kada veruješ to je sve što moraš činiti. You are justified by faith belief. Opravdan si verom kada veruješ. Brother Branham said many said they believed and didn't have it. Brother Branham je rekao mnogi su verovali da uh, verovali da to imaju a nisu imali. Along came Wesley with what is called the second work of grace, sanctification. Zatim dolazi Wesley sa onim što se zove drugo delo milosti što je op, uh, posvećenje. All that shouts and a sanctified has got it. Svi koji kliču i uh, posvećeni su imaju to. Many shouted and didn't have it. Mnogi su klicali a nisu to imali. Along came the Pentecost and said all that speaks with tongues has got it. Zatim dolazi Pentekost i kažu svi koji govore jezicima imaju to. Many spoke with tongues and didn't have it. A mnogi govore u jezicima i nisu to imali. Along came the Christian science and said it's love, the fruit of the spirit. Zatim dolazi hrišćanska nauka i kažu to je ljubav, plod duha. Many of them shows fruit of the spirit and don't have it. Mnogi od njih pokazuju plodove duha, nemaju to. He is not speaking against any of those things. On nije govorio protiv tih stvari. We must be sanctified. Mi moramo biti posvećeni. We must have love. Moramo voleti. Amen. He's not speaking against those things. On ne govori ovdje protiv toga. But he said they are not evidence. Samo kaže da to nije dokaz. You live in a three room house. Vi živite u kući koja ima tri prostorije u sebi. Soul, spirit and body. A to je duša, duh i telo. And that middle realm, the spirit realm, a taj srednji deo oblast duha, that is very religious. On je veoma religiozan. You can be touched there. Tamo možete biti dotaknuti. You can be moved there. U, tamo možete biti pokrenuti. You can be anointed there. Čak možete biti pomazani tamo. You can shout from the spirit. Možete iz svog duha klicati. You can You can worship from the spirit. Možete proslavljati iz duha. From the human spirit. Iz ljudskog duha. You can even be baptized in your human spirit. Možete čak biti kršteni u svom ljudskom duhu. That has not one thing to do with the soul. A to nema nikakve veze sa dušom. Anything you can do in the soul? 
sve što možete činiti u duši, your spirit can copy. Vaša, vaš duh to može da imitira. You can speak in tongues from your soul. Možete iz duše govoriti jezicima. You can speak in tongues from the spirit. A možete i iz oblasti duha govoriti u jezicima. Everything that God can do. Sve što bi Bog mogao učiniti can be counterfeited from the spirit realm. Može se krivotvoriti iz oblasti duha. So none of those things can be evidence. Tako da ni jedna od tih stvari ne mogu biti dokaz. Because Satan can do those things. Zato što i Satan bi mogao učiniti te stvari. And you can even do those things yourself. A čak bi i sami od sebi mogli učiniti te stvari. But listen now for the word to be taken in. Ali slušajte sada, kada reč treba da se primi unutra and received i da bude primljena and believed i verovana and then lived out again. I onda da njen život ide napolje. The spirit realm cannot do that. Oblast duha to ne može da učini. That's got to be the soul. To mora ići iz duše. So that's got to be the evidence. Tako da tu mora biti dokaz. In the church age book. Knjiga crkvena doba. Now a lot of people don't like the church age book. Mnogi ljudi ne vole knjigu crkvenih doba. I'll tell you someone who really doesn't like the church age book. A reći ću vam ko zaista ne voli knjigu crkvena doba. That's the devil. To je đavol. Amen. I'm sorry if I'm treading on anybody's toes. Žao mi ako to šaljem na nečiju adresu. But Satan hates the church age book. Ali Satan mrzi knjigu crkvena doba. In the Smyrnian age. U uh, Smirninom dobu. Brother Branham says in every age. Brother Branham kaže u svakom dobu. And every age is the age of the Holy Ghost for the true believer. A svako doba je doba Duha Svetoga za istinskog vernika. In every age the evidence was the same. Kažem u svakom je dobu dokaz bio isti. And now we think the evidence is different in every age. A mi smo mislili da je dokaz drugačiji u svakom dobu. Actually the true evidence was the same in every age. U stvari age. onaj pravi dokaz je u stvari sve vreme bio isti. Those who had the spirit oni koji su imali duha, the teacher, tog učitelja, heard the word, čuli su reč, and that spirit in them took the word and taught it. I taj je duh u njima uzeo reč i poučio je, revealed it to o, them. Otkrio je njima. And they were of the group that heard the messenger. A oni su bili iz grupe koja je čula glasnika, and his message, i njegovu poruku, and took it, i uzela je, and lived it. I živela je. This is not just saying I believe the message is true. Ovo nije samo reći ja verujem da je poruka istina. I believe the message is of God. Ja verujem da je poruka od Boga. Satan knows the message is true. Pa i Satan zna da je poruka istinita. The Pope knows the message come from God. Papa zna da je poruka došla od Boga. But Satan is not born again. Ali Satan nije na novo rođen. Amen. Amen. And neither is the Pope. A niti je to pap. And neither is your patriarch. A niti vaš patriarh. Whatever country you come from. Iz koje god da ste zemlje došli. Amen. Amen. If it was just a mental thing, ako bi to bila samo mentalna umna stvar, then the devil would be your brother. Onda bi đavo mogao biti vaš brat. But Satan doesn't have an ear to hear what the spirit says to the church. Ali Satan nema uho da čuje šta duh govori crkvi. He is not able to take this message into him. On ne može uzeti u sebe ovu poruku. Receive it fully. Da je u potpunosti primi. And then live it out again. I da je onda živi. Amen. He can't do that. On to ne može učiniti. Again in the church age book. Ponovo iz crkvenih doba. If you are true seed from the Ako ste vi istinsko seme Hallelujah. If you are true seed, ako ste vi istinsko seme, you will hear that word. Čućete reč. The Spirit will baptize you into the body of Christ. Duh će vas krstiti u telo Hristovo, filling you and empowering you, ispunjavajući vas i ovla, uh, oživljavajući vas ili dajući vam silu. And you will receive the word for your day and age. A vi ćete primiti reč za svoj dan i doba. See how clear the true evidence becomes when the word is revealed to you. Vidite li kako kada vam je otkrivena reč kako je to jasan dokaz and again brother i ponovo I, I, I'm, sh- I'm laboring this point ja sada uh, radim na ovoj tački because i want you to understand it very clearly zato što želim da to veoma jasno razumete i, I want you to see this is not just something that brother branham said once želim da vidite da ovo nije nešto što je brat branham samo jednom pomenuo negde many people in the message ja mnogi ljudi u poruci they major on a minor oni na, glavni naglasak stavljaju na sporedne stvari. 
and they minor on a major. I obrnuto. They take one quote. Oni uzmu jedan citat. They take half a sentence. I uzmu dakle pola rečenice. And they build a fantastic doctrine on it. I onda izgrade silne doktrine. And they ignore what Brother Branham said again and again and again and again. A onda ignoriš ono što je Brad Branham ponovo i ponovo i ponovo govorio. Now I believe that the true message is between the lines. A ja verujem da je ta prava poruka između redova. Amen. But you can't take something between the lines. Ali ne možete uzeti samo nešto između redova. And make it different to what all the lines say. I onda načiniti to drugačijim od onoga što kažu redovi. God is not confused. Jer Bog nije zbrkan. He is not confused about his word. On nije zbrkan što se tiče svoje reči. Church age book again. Ponovo crkvena doba. We have been constantly saying Nama se neprekidno govori that the true evidence of being baptized with the Holy Ghost da je pravi dokaz krštenja svetim duhom is for the believer to receive the word for the age in which he lives. Za vernika da primi reč u dobu u kojem on živi. And again, i ponovo, Pergamian church age, pergamsko crkveno doba, the evidence of a spirit-filled Christian dokaz duhom ispunjenog hrvatskog Christian believer is not to produce the truth, the word, but to receive the truth and to believe it and obey it. Oh no. I wish Brother Branham hadn't said that last part. And obey it. You mean I have to actually do what he says? U stvari, da li ja zaista treba da radim ono što on kaže? Yes, you do. Da, baš tako. This is not just to say, yes, I know that's right. To nije reći da, ja znam da je to ispravno. Yes, I know that's true. Zna, to je istina. This is not a mental thing. Ovo nije neka mentalna stvar. This is not psychology. Ovo nije psihologija. That can be counterfeit. To može da se krivotvori, falsifikuje. You must know the true evidence vi morate znati koji je pravi dokaz. Because you must know what you have. Zato što morate znati šta imate. You must know what you haven't got. I morate znati šta još niste primili. If you don't have the Holy Spirit yet, ako još nemate svetog duha, you need to know that you don't. Onda morate to znati da ga nemate. So that you can go to God in prayer. Tako da biste mogli otići u molitvi ka Bogu. Every day. I to svaki dan. And remind him of his promise. I da ga podsjećate na njegovo obećanje. Father, you said repent. Father, you told me to repent. Oče, ti si mi rekao da se pokajem. And I've repented. I ja sam se pokajao. You told me to be baptized. Ti si mi rekao da se krstim. In the name of Jesus Christ. U ime Isusa Hrista. And I've been baptized. I krstio sam se. You told me to do those things. Ti si mi rekao da radim sve to. I have done what you told me to do. I ja sam učinio sve što si mi rekao da učinim. But I cannot baptize myself. Ali ne mogu samog sebe krstiti. Now I need you to do what you said you would do. Sada meni si ti potreban da učiniš to. You're not a liar. A ti nisi lažo. You tell the truth. Rekao si istinu. You are the truth. I ti sam si istinu. Come and fulfill your word in my life. Dođi i ispuni svoju vlastitu reč u mom životu. And brother Branham said remind him of his promise. I brat Branham je rekao da ga podsjećamo na njegovo obećanje. Not because he's forgotten. Ne zato što ga je on zaboravio. But he wants to hear it from you. Već on to sam želi čuti lično od vas. Lord, you promised me the Holy Spirit. Gospode, obećao si mi svetog duha. You promised me the new birth. Obećao si mi novo rođenje. I've done my part. Ja sam obavio svoj deo. Lord, please come and do your part. Molim te, dođi ti i učini svoj deo. I need you, Father. Ja meni si potreban, oče. God loves to be reminded of his promise. Bog voli da ga vi podsjećate na njegovo obećanje. And thank him for the promise. I da mu zahvalite za obećanje. Thank you for the Holy Spirit. Hvala ti za svetog duha. Thank you for the conversion. Hvala ti za obraćenje. Thank you for the sealing. Hvala ti za zapečaćivanje. God loves that. Bog te stvari voli. Amen. And if you don't have the Holy Spirit, a ako nemate svetog duha, then come to him in that way. Onda mu pristupite na takav način. But if you have got it, ali ako ga imate, Satan is also going to challenge you. Onda će vas Satana takođe izazvati. If Satan said to Jesus, ako je Sotona rekao Isusu, If you be the son of God, ako si ti sin Boži, straight after he was baptized, čim je bio kršten, and even as he hung from the cross, čak i dok je visio na krstu, they said, If thou be the son of God, rekli su, ako si sin Boži, he was challenged at the beginning of his ministry, 
Sotona ga je izazivao od samog početka njegove službe pa do samog kraja njegove službe. He was challenged on who he was. On je stalno bio izazvan na temu ko je on. And you also will be challenged. I vi ćete također biti izazvani na takav način. You will be tested. Bićete iskušani. That's why you need to know what you have. Zato morate znati šta imate. Hallelujah. Because if you have passed from death to life. Jer ako jeste prešli iz smrti u život. If you have been born again. Ako jeste bili na novorođeni. You cannot miss the rapture. Ne možete promašiti uznesenje. You cannot miss the rapture. Ne možete promašiti uznesenje. God is not going to save you down here. Bog vas ovdje dole neće spasiti. Fill you with his holy spirit. I ispuniti svetim duhom. And then leave you to go through the tribulation. A onda vas ostaviti u velikim nevoljama. Really what the rapture is? Ono što je uistinu uznesenje. God withdraws his holy spirit from the earth. Bog će u stvari povući svetog duha sa zemlje. Especially from the Gentiles. Pogotovo od pagana. And if you are sealed with that spirit, a ako ste vi pod pečatom tog duha, when the spirit goes, kada duh ode, you will go also. Morat ćete i vi ići također. You cannot go through the tribulation. Jer vi ne možete ići kroz nevolje. Actually when you're fully born again, u stvari kada ste potpuno na novorođeni, your book of life has been destroyed. Knjiga života u kojoj je da je vaše ime uništeno. You cannot come to the white throne. Vi se vi ne možete više doći pod pred beli sudski presto. You cannot be judged then. Ne može vam se više tamo suditi. Because you've already been judged. Zato što ste već tu suđeni dole. You will be at the white throne. Vi ćete biti kod belog sudskog prestola. You will be sitting with him. Ali ćete sedeti s njim. Reigning with him. I uh, vladati s njim. Judging with him. Suditi s njim. But you will not be before the throne ali, being judged. Ali nećete biti pred prestolom i da će vam neko suditi. Because you have already been judged. Zato što ste već bili suđeni. Hallelujah. Actually if you bride u stvari ako ste nevesta, you were in Christ. Vi ste bili u Kristu 2000 years ago. Još pre 2000 godina. When he preached the gospel, dok je propovedao evanđelje. When he raised the dead, dok je dizao mrtve. When he went to Calvary, dok je išao na Golgotu. When he died there on the cross, dok je umirao na krstu. You were in him. Vi ste bili u njemu. When he Amen. bore the judgment of God, dok je nosio Božje sudove. You were in him then. Bili ste tada u njemu. And you cannot be judged again. I ne možete biti dva puta suđeni. Hallelujah. When he was buried, kada je on bio sahranjen, you were buried with him. Vi ste bili sahranjeni s njim. When he raised, kada je ustao, you were raised with him. Vi ste ustali s njim. If you were in him then, but if you were in him then, ako ste tada bili u njemu, you need to know that. Vi morate znati te stvari. Because the devil will work through your emotions. Zato što će đavo pokušati raditi kroz vaše emocije, kroz vaša sećanja, through your conscience, kroz vašu savest, through your affections, kroz vaša osećanja, and through your reasoning, i kroz vaš razum, to make you think you don't have something that you do. Da bi vas naveo da mislite da nešto nemate što u stvari imate. I heard a brother say this one time. Čuo sam jednom da jedan brat rekao ovo jednom. If I fell on you, ako bi ja pa uh, if i fell on you what does it mean uh, okay if i fell on you okay ako padnem na tebe you would feel it ti ha okay ako ja padnem na tebe ti bi to osetio you think if the holy ghost fell on you you wouldn't feel it misliš da ako sveti duh padne na tebe da to nećeš osetiti but there is nonsense preaching for a minister in the message ali za propovjednika unutar poruke to je prava glupost da to propoveda it's not feeling anything that is the evidence je nije uopšte dokaz u osećanjima now i'm going to say this from my heart ja ću vam ovo reći iz svog srca i have times when i'm a dry formal person imam periode kada sam jedna suva i formalna osoba and, and a bit of an intellectual i kada sam pomalo kao neki intelektualac I have times when I'm a very emotional person a imam i vrijeme kada sam veoma emotivna osoba so there are times when I shout ima i vrijeme kada kličem there are times when I dance ima vrijeme čak i kad plešem I can be studying in my office a mogu sedeti i izučavati u kancelariji and something opens up in the word i nešto mi se otkrije u reči and I get inspired i ja postanem inspirisan and I dance around my office i ja počnem da skačem I say praise the Lord i počnem da vičem slava Gospodu this is wonderful ovo je predivno that's not the evidence a to nije dokaz there are times when I cry postoje vremena kada plačem there are times when I just sit there postoje vrijeme kad samo sedim not a word 
I nemam ni reč. Not a sign on my face. Ni nikako znak na licu ne nosim. I just say, Lord, you're awesome. Samo kažem, Gospode, ti si veliki. God, you're wonderful. Ti si predivan. I hope that you feel everything that God wants you to feel. Nadam se da vi osjećate sve što Bog želi da vi osjećate. I hope that you're happy. Nadam se da ste sretni. I hope that you cry. I nadam se da i plačete. I hope that you shout. Nadam se da kličete. But none of those things are the evidence. Ali ni jedna od tih stvari nisu dokaz. The evidence is that God comes in. Dokaz je kada Bog dođe unutra. And he causes you to believe his word. I navede vas da verujete njegovu reč. And manifest his word. I da je onda manifestujete. And whether you feel all the emotions. Bez obzira da li imate sve moguće osjećaje. Whether you feel none of the emotions. Ili da nemate ama baš ništa. Doesn't matter. To nije bitno. Africans leap. Afrikanci oni Russians poskakuju. Weep. Russians weep. Rusi plaču. We say Africans fly, Russians cry. Mi kažemo a crnci lete, a Rusi plaču. It doesn't matter. A nije u stvari bitno. Whatever manifests in that way doesn't matter. Kako god se to manifestuje, nije bitno. Because Satan can make you leap. Zato što i Satan vas može navesti da skočite. I went to rock concerts. Ja sam išao na rock koncerte. Three hours standing. Tri sata stojimo. With my hands up in the air. I ovako s podignutim rukama. I never felt tired. Nikad se nisam osjetio umornim od toga. I was on fire. Ja sam bio zapaljen. And if I kept going that way, i da sam nastavio tako dalje, I really would be on fire. Stvarno bi završio u vatri. And then I come to church and in half an hour I feel tired. A onda dođem u crkvu i posle pola sata se osjećam umoran. I say what's wrong with me? Rekao sam nešto nije u redu sa mnom. I went to rugby games. What? Rugby. Uh, išli su na utakmice rugbija. And, and when we would score a try. I, uh, when we would da, score. Kad bi pogodili uh, uh, gol. Taj I would say go! Ja bih rekao go! I got excited. I bio sam uzbuđen. Sometimes I sit in church. Ponekad sedim u crkvi. And I just sit there quiet. Sedim i u tišini. I say what's wrong with me? Rekao sam nešto nije u redu Amen. sa mnom. Some of you used to drink. Neki od vas su možda pili. Maybe you drank a little bit too much. Možda ste malo poviše potegli. You never can tell how someone is going to react when they've had too much to drink. I nikada ne, ne znate kako će neko reagovati kada malo više popije. Some of makes them very loud. Neki postanu prilično glasni. Amen. Some of makes them very funny. Neki postanu smiješni. Some of makes them want to fight. Neki hoće da se tuku. Some of makes them want to cry. Neki hoće da plaču. Some of makes them want to go to lie down and go to sleep. Neko bi samo lego da spava. You never can tell how someone is going to react. Nikad ne znate, ne možete reći kako će neko reagovati. And you can't tell how someone's going to react to the word. Onda ne možete ni reći kako će neko reagovati na reč. That's not the important thing. Jer to nije toliko važna stvar. How you feel is not the important thing. Kako se osjećaš nije primarna stvar. Look at your life. Već gledaj u život. Look at your life in the light of the word of God. Gled, raz, razmotri svoj život u svetlu Božje reči. In the light of the message of the hour. Razmotri svoj život u svetlu poruke ovog časa. Are you fighting with it? Da li se možda boriš sa time? Or are you saying amen to it? Ili govoriš amen na to? We read about Adam and Eve. Čitali smo o Adamu i Evi. Saints before the fall they did not have any fights. Je pre uh, pada oni su uopšte nisu svađali. Adam said this. Adam bi rekao to. Eve said I agree. A Eva bi rekla slažem se. Adam said I think this. Adam bi rekao ja mislim ovo. Eve says yeah, I think I agree. Da, Eva bi rekla slažem se. If Adam said this. Ako bi Adam rekao to. She says Adam you're wrong. A ona rekla Adam je greš. I don't believe that. Ja ne vjerujem u to. I'm not going to do that. Ja nešto to činiti. Can you imagine Eve saying that? Možete li zamisliti Evu kako to govori? Now after the fall she did. O, nakon pada je to radila. But before the fall. Ali pre pada. Look now when God put Adam to sleep. Vidite kada je Bog uh, uspavao Adama. He took that woman out from him. On je tu ženu izvadio iz, iz njega. Ru- took a rib from her so- u, his side. Uzeo iz njegovog b- b- boka rebro. Made the body of the woman. I od toga načinio telo ženi. From the spirit part of the man. A od duhovnog dela čoveka. God took the feminine part. Bog je uzeo taj ženski deo. Put it in the woman. I stavio ga u ženu. Now he woke her up. I onda je probudio. Every part of her. Svaki deličnje came from him. Je došao iz njega. So she couldn't argue with him. Tako da se ona nije mogla prepirati s njime. Because she would have been arguing with herself. 
To bi bilo kao da se prepire sama sa sobom. She came from him physically. Ona je od njega došla fizički. She came from him spiritually. Ona je od njega došla i duhovno. And you come from Christ. A vi ste tako došli od Krista. And Christ is the word. A Krist je reč. So you must agree with the word. Tako morate se slagati sa reči. When he says something, kada on nešto kaže, you say yes, I agree. Vi kažete da, tako When je, slažete. When he says I think this, kada on kaže ja mislim ovo, you say I think that too. Vi kažete ja također mislim tako. There's nothing in you to argue with the word. Ja nema ničega u vama što bi se prepiralo sa reči. That's where you came from. Jel vi ste odande došli? And when you can say amen. I kada vi možete reći amen. From your heart. Iz svog srca. To every word. Na svaku reč. That's because there's a spirit living in you. To je zato što je duh u vama. The spirit that wrote this word. Duh koji je napisao ovu reč. Amen. Paul picked up the pen. Paul je uzeo olovku. Moses picked up the pen. I Mojsije je uzeo olovku. But they didn't write their thoughts. Ali oni nisu beležili svoje misli. They wrote as they were inspired by the Holy Spirit. Oni su pisali kako ih je nadahnuo Sveti Duh. The Holy Spirit is the author of the Bible. A Sveti Duh je autor Biblije. Now if that spirit Dakle, ako taj duh comes and lives in your heart, dolazi da živi u vašem srcu, he will cause you to say amen. On će vas navesti na, da amenujete to everything he wrote. Sve što je napisao. And if you don't say amen, ako vi ne kažete amen, then there's another spirit there. Onda se tamo nalazi neki drugi duh. I don't care whether you felt something or not. Nije me briga da li ste nešto osetili ili ne. All I care is that something changed. Sve za čega se ja brinem da li je nešto bilo promenjeno. Something happened. Da li se tamo nešto desilo? Now in the message, dakle u poruci, before brother Branham preached the masterpiece, pre nego što je brat Branham propovedao remek delo propoved. He had a private interview in his office. Imao je jedan privatni razgovor u svojoj kancelariji. A sister in the Branham Tabernacle. Jedna sestra iz Brahamovog šatora. Her name was Georgia Bruce. Zvala se Georgia Bruce. She said she came to brother Branham with a problem. Ona je došla s jednim problemom pred brata Branhama. She didn't think that she had the Holy Ghost. Mislila je da nema svetog duha. Now it's it's only one page on the computer. To je na kompjuteru samo koliko stane na ekran. It was never printed as a message book that I know of. Koliko znam nikad se nije štampalo kao propoved poruke. But it was just before brother Branham preached the masterpiece message. Ali to je bilo upravo pre nego što je brat Branham propovedao propoved remek delo. She said I want the experience that I've been sealed in the Holy Ghost. Ona je rekla želim to iskustvo da sam bila zapečaćena svetim duhom. That's a good thing to want. To je jedna dobra stvar da se poželi. She says I've never had an experience that I've been filled with the Holy Ghost. Rekla je nikad još nisam imala to iskustvo da sam ispunjena svetim duhom. No, actually she had had the experience. U stvari ona ga je imala, but she never felt it. Ali ga nije osetila. So she didn't know what she had. Tako da nije znala šta je imala. Brother Branham said a brat Branham je rekao, said, I believe with all my heart that you're a real born again believer. Ja verujem od sveg srca da si ti jedna prava nanovo rođena vernica. Now some people, neki ljudi, some message ministers, neki propovednici iz poruke, they would say if you never felt anything, on, you don't have it. Oni bi rekli ako nisi nikad ništa osjetio, onda sigurno nemaš. Now that's no different to the Pentecostals. A to nema razlike onda uh, u odnosu na Pentecost. If you never spoke in tongues, you don't have it. Ako nisi govorio jezicima, ti onda nemaš. If you never shouted, you don't have it. Ako nisi klica, onda ti to nemaš. Brother Branham said, I believe with all my heart that you're a real born again believer. A brat Branham je rekao, verujem od sveg srca da si prava nanovo rođena vernica. He said, I've watched your life. Rekao je, posmatrao sam tvoj život. I've watched you under vision. Video sam te u viziji. Oh. Amen. The natural eye of a prophet might be deceived. A čak prirodno oko proroka bi moglo biti prevareno. But when he says I've watched you under vision. Ali kada je rekao video sam te u viziji. You can't deceive that. Vi ne možete tu prevariti ništa. That's the eyes of God. Jer to su Božje oči. He says I've watched you under vision and I know you're a Christian. Rekao je video sam te u viziji i znam da si hrišćanka. Sister Bruce should have walked out of that interview. 
sestra Bruce bi trebala otići od Ande sa tog razgovora. The happiest woman in the world. Kao najsretnija žena na svetu. Even if she never felt a thing. Čak da nije osjetila ma baš ništa. Amen. Amen. Hear me. I'm not against emotion. Uh, uh, čujte me pažljivo. Ja nisam protiv emocija. Brother Branham said any Anything without emotion in it is dead. Brad Branham je rekao sve što ne nosi u sebi emocije je mrtvo. He said if your religion doesn't have emotion in it, rekao je ako vaša religija u sebi ne nosi emociju, we need to take it out and bury it. Onda je moramo izeti napolje i sahraniti je. But emotion is not the evidence. Ali ipak emocija nije dokaz. Sister Bruce never felt a thing. Sestra Bruce nikada ništa od toga nije osetila. And because she didn't have the sensation, i zato što nije imala to uzbuđenje, she did didn't believe she had the experience. Nije verovala u svoje iskustvo. Let the sink down deep in the soul of some of you. Neka se ovo duboko upije u nečiju dušu ovdje. Because this Amen. is not born again. Zato što ovo nije na novo rođeno. This flesh you got from the fall. Ovo telo imate iz pada. This flesh you got from the serpent. Ovo telo smo dobili preko zmije. This is not born again. Ovo ne, nije na novo rođeno. This will never be born again. I nikada neće biti na novo rođeno. There is one cure for this. Postoji samo jedan lek za ovo. A body change. To je pro- preobraženje tela. If you say I wish my body loved God. Ja, ako kažete voleo bi da ovo telo voli I, Boga. I wish my flesh would behave itself. Voleo bi da se moje telo tako ponaša. You're going to be waiting a long long time. Onda ćete provesti jako puno vremena na to. Amen. This will never love God. Jer ovo nikada neće voleti Boga. This is never going to want to pray. Ovo nikad neće želiti da se moli. This is never going to want to study the nikad Bible. Nikad neće želiti da izučava Bibliju. This is never going to want to come to church. Nikad neće želiti ići u crkvu. Because it's not all God. Zato što ovo telo više nije od Boga. Now, if you have the spirit of God on the inside, ali ako imate Božijeg duha iznutra, it will cause you to keep this flesh subject. Ono će učiniti da ovo vaše telo bude podređeno. But don't judge your born again experience, ali ne sudite svoje iskustvo na novo rođenje. By what your flesh tells you. Prema onome što vam govori telo. Paul said, "Wretched man that I am." Pavle reka, "Oh, bedan sam čovjek." Who will deliver me from the body of this sin? Ko će me osloboditi iz tela greha ovoga? A church age messenger. A to je bio crkveni glasnik. A prophet, evangelist. Bio je prorok, evangelist, učitelj. A teacher, učitelj. An apostle. I apostol. Amen. A man of God with the Holy Ghost. Čovjek Boži sa svetim duhom. The first star in God's right hand. Prva zvezda u Isusovoj desnici. He wrote the New Testament. I on je čak napisao Novi Zavet. He divided the law from grace. I on je taj koji je razdvojio zakon i milost. And he said what I want to do. I rekao je evo šta želim učiniti. That's not what I do. A ono što želim učiniti what, uh, ne želim činiti. And what I don't want to do? A ono što ne želim da činim. That's what I find myself doing. To je ono u čemu se nalazim. He says I know I'm born again. I rekao je sada sam na novo rođen. But in my flesh there's another law. Ali u ovom telu nalazim jedan drugi zakon. If apostle Paul had problems with his flesh, ako je apostol Pavle imao problema sa svojim telom, then your flesh is going to let you down also. Onda će i vas obarati vaše sopstveno telo. Brother Branham said we have a sticky nature. Brat Branham je rekao da imamo tu bodljikavu prirodu, o grešnu prirodu. And that will trouble you every day of your life. I ona će vas mučiti svakog dana vašeg života. He said you backslide every day. Kaže vi se vraćate svaki dan u greh. That is our life. To je na, what? That is our life. To je naš život. In the flesh. U telu. But it's not our life on the inside. Ali ipak iznutra je jedan drugi život. Don't judge your born again experience. Nemojte suditi svoje iskustvo na novo rođenje. By what the flesh tells you. Po onome, po onome što vam telo govori. Hallelujah. Amen. Hvala Gospodu. Eve could not deny Adam. Eva nije mogla da porekne Adama. We say he cannot deny us. Mi kažemo ni on ne može da porekne nas. Praise the Lord that is the truth. Slava Gospodu jer to je istina. But neither can we deny him. Ali ni, ni mi ne možemo njega poreći. The word cannot deny the word. Zato što reč ne može da porekne reč. They are the same. Oni su jedno te isto. They may have had conflict after the fall. 
Možda su imali neki sukob nakon pada. But before the fall they were right in line. Ali pre pada bili su tačno u, u, jednom, u jednoj liniji. You may have fought with the word before you were born again. Možda ste se raspravljali sa reči pre nego što ste bili nanovo rođeni. But when the spirit that wrote this Bible, ali kada je duh koji je napisao, napisao u Bibliju, and the spirit that sent this message, i duh koji je poslao ovu poruku, when it comes and lives in you, kada dolazi da živi u vas, it won't be hard for you to say amen. Onda neće biti teško da kažete amen. Even if it hurts. Čak i ako vas to boli. Even if you don't understand it. Čak i ako to baš ne razumete sve. I myself believe in the death penalty. Uh, de, aha, ja sam uh, you believe? Yeah. A on sam veruje u smrtnu kaznu. The prisons in our country? Uh, zatvori u našoj zemlji. They have electric blankets. Imaju tu čebad sa grejanjem na struju. They have color television. Imali, imaju kablovsku te, televiziju. And they have good food. I dobro se hrane. And some of the guys that are in there, a neki od ljudi koji su unutra u zatvoru, they don't deserve to be living. Uopšte ne zaslužuju čak ni da žive. In my opinion, po mom mišljenju, I say hang them high. Ja bih rekao obesite ih negde visoko. That's brother Paul. To je brat Paul. Brother Branham came along. A onda je došao brat Branham. He said I don't believe in the death penalty. What? He said I don't believe. On je rekao ja ne verujem u smrtnu kaznu. See what happened was only the poor people were executed. Vidite, samo siromašni ljudi nad njima se izvršava smrtna kazna. The rich people had more money. A bogataši imaju novac. They had better lawyers. Imaju bolje advokate. So they didn't get the death penalty. Tako uvek za obiđu smrtnu kaznu. So it wasn't fair. Tako nije pošteno. He said Cain was the first murderer. Rekao je Kain je bio prvi ubica. And God didn't kill him. A Boga nije kaznio smrću. So now brother Paul has a thought. Tako da brat Paul može da misli jedno. But he reads in the message. A onda čita u poruci. And he reads that brother Branham has a thought. I onda čita šta je brat Branham mislio. Which isn't brother Branham's thought. A to i nisu misli brata Brankama. It's God's thought. Jer to su Božje misli. So brother Paul says. Tako da brat Paul kaže. I'm wrong. Ja sam taj koji grešim. Brother Paul says. Brat Paul kaže. Okay, you're right. Okay, imaš pravo. Brother Paul says, Brat Paul kaže, I changed my mind. Predomisle, predomisle Brother Paul says,